Greetings, I'm Dave Matuzic from MacDeck Engineering, and I'm going to be showing you our new Mastercam 3D gauge arm and the Mastercam Verisurf add-in that allows me to do real-time inspection on my part. I simply align, inspect, and report, and I can do a very simple inspection report or a complex inspection report. Also, I'll use this arm to do some reverse engineering, and we'll do that probably in a separate video. So stay tuned and I'll show you everything we can do with the new Master 3D Gauge arm. Okay, so you can see here I have Mastercam open because Verisurf and the Master 3D Gauge are designed to work inside of Mastercam. If you're currently a Mastercam user, this will seem simple and intuitive to you because there's no need to learn another system. If you're not a Mastercam user, Mastercam is a simple yet easy to, simple, easy to use yet powerful CAD and CAM package. So I'm actually going to open up here a solid model of the part that we have on the surface plate here. And this is a part provided by Verisurf with every 3D gauge arm. And it also includes a tutorial. So this way you can move through the tutorial using the provided part. And that's actually how I get started here with the 3D gauge arm. There's three steps to doing an inspection with the master 3D gauge. Align, inspect, and generate your report. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to start off by putting some alignment points on. And this will align the part to the gauge arm. Verisurf also allows blueprint-based inspection for those of you who don't have a solid model if you're working from a blueprint. We can do that, and I'll do that in another video. What I'm going to do here in this quick introductory video, I'm going to run my auto align, get a little graphical representation of your probe on the screen, and I'm going to come on in, and I'm going to touch off here, here, here. After some points are defined, it allows a graphical representation of the arm that you can turn on or off, and I have it on for demonstration purposes here. I get this aligned, I'll inspect that, and actually if I unzoom, you can see I do have the arm right there on my screen, a representation of my arm. I could turn that off and save some RAM on the computer, but we'll just leave it on here for uh, demo purposes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect along this part here these edges and a line across the front, and I'll check the part for square, and I'll also check these areas here for straightness. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to come in here and I'll click my inspect line. And I'm going to do a three point line inspection. That way I can check for straightness here. And I'm going to come on in and line one I'll do here. One, two, three. Fit of a tenth, not bad. One, two, three. Again, not bad. One, two, three. Now along the front of the part, I don't have enough room for three points. I'll just set this back here to number of points to two. It's sort of an imaginary line anyway, so I'll do one, two. Okay, so we get those points inspected. And actually while I'm here, on my screen, you see I have these holes defined here. Let me turn these targets off so we don't have to look at them. I really just need to know the X, Y, Z location of these. So I can inspect these as a circle, and I don't really care, I just want to know the location. So I'll do one point circles. My probe's too big to get down in that hole. So I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to grab these circles. One, two, three, four. Quick X, Y, Z coordinate there. Next thing I'm going to check here, so I'll check some points along the surface here. So I'll go to my inspect build. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to check a surface. I'm going to use my MBD tolerance, my auto biased definition tolerance, which is uh, to find that another tab that's included with the Verisurf package here. Although those are quite tight for this surface here. I'm going to come in. I'm just going to change these up a little bit. All right. 
and I come down here, and I'm going to pick some points. No! Oversized over there by two, which is my upper tolerance. Eight tenths. Undersized by a thou. My lower tolerance is a thou, so that's why I'm getting some alarms there. But I should be fine. Just about everywhere else. Okay, so now that I've got this basic inspection done, let's generate our report and get the information that we need. So I'm actually going to close this out, <coughs> and I'm going to generate a report. I click this. Okay, I don't actually need to know these targets. Those are my alignment targets. I don't really need them, so I'm going to turn them off. Now in here, from line one through four, I only want to know how, how long this was. I'm not sorry, how straight this was. So I can have straightness on. And I'm actually just going to set this here as a default. And I'm going to grab lines two through four and load that default in. So now they only have straightness defined. And that's all I cared about. But I also want to know, if I show you here, Turn off these features quickly. If I go in here, I want to know line one you see there is red, and line two in the back is, if I rotate the part around, is, is red. I want to know how straight that is. Sorry, how square that is. So I'm going to set this to angle in line two and three. I want to know the angle. Line three and four, I'd like to know the angle, and line four and one, I want to use the angle. Let me go to my angle down here. True angle, I only want to know the angle in the xy plane, because maybe my z went up and down as I, as I measure there. So the xy plane angle is all I need here, and I'm actually going to set that again as a default. I'll load these in here as defaults. So there we go, get the true angle. Next thing here, between line one and three, I want to know the length of the part. So I'm going to come in here and turn on distance. And I'll come down here, do a couple things. That's my distance in the X. So I'm only going to have the X on down here. And I'm going to rename that. X distance. Now between line 2 and 4, I also want to know the distance. In this case, I want to know the Y distance. I'm going to rename that Y distance. Next thing on this whole pattern, XY is already selected. And I actually could have it guesstimate the diameter for me if I wanted it to. And I might as well do that. And I'm just going to load that as a default. Good way to check the diameter of a tapped hole, actually, where you can just come in and hit one spot. Load this as a default. And now I know my X and my Y. So sure, I guess I never did turn the diameter on. Let me check that again. No, I did not. Let's check that on load that as a default a demo where everything goes well just it's never fun to watch so there we go all right so now uh, it's not on again that's all right we can just do that now I'm just gonna move this down here and we can generate our report now <coughs> I'll hit report button right here. Come up as a PDF. You can insert your own company logo here. I put ours in instead of the Verisurf logo. Any information you need for that part, 
and here we go. Here are my measurements. Notice only if I'll put that angle, not a big deal. It's because I have that highlighted there. Let's make sure nothing's here. And hit report again. And there we go. Line one, straightness. Line two, straightness. Line three, straightness. X, Y on my bolt pattern. My inspection points and their deviation. And my angles. Pretty square, actually. And a screenshot of the part. And I can also put in additional screenshots if I wanted to. So there we go. I have just done an align inspect report, probably in less than about 10 minutes. And that's how simple it is to use the Mastercam 3D gauge. Pretty much, I've just taken it out of the box, set it up, and did this inspection on it. So that's it. If you have any questions about the Mastercam 3D gauge, please don't hesitate to call us here at MacDeck Engineering. As you can see, phone number 860-749-5544. I'm Dave Matusik, and I can be reached at sales at macdac.com or davem at macdac.com. Hope everybody had a good time watching this, and I hope you all have a good day.